Number 25, complete and balance the equations for the following acid-base neutralization reactions. And if water is used as a solvent, write the reactants and products as aqueous ions. And in some cases, there may be more than one correct answer depending on the amounts of reactants used. Cool. We just have to, we just have to basically finish this, right? Yada, yada, yada. Let's just finish the equation. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write the, the start down, right? So SR. O, which is a solid, strontium oxide, plus sulfuric acid, H2SO4, which in this case is a liquid, will yield blah. Let's figure it out. Now remember, when we're doing, or when we're forming products, right, chances are 99% of the time is that our products are always going to be coming from the ions of what was given. So let's first make sure that we know what ions we had to, to start with from our two compounds. So let's start up with strontium oxide. There's a metal, strontium, and there's oxygen. So in order to make this compound, the break was between the two elements. And use those subscripts to give you a, a head start on what the ions were. There was one strontium and one oxygen. If we crisscross these guys, this one told me that oxygen was a negative one, and this one told me that strontium was a plus one. So in this case, strontium was a plus one and oxygen was a negative one. Now you might be screaming at your computer right now or your phone and saying, Christina, wait, oxygen is never a negative one. Well, not never, but... Majority of the time, oxygen is negative one. But strontium being a plus one? No way. And you're absolutely correct. Strontium is in group two, and it wants to be a plus two. This had to have been the simplified form. So just correct that. I had to multiply the plus one times two, but whatever I do, I got to do to the other side. I got to be fair. So now, strontium is a plus two charge and oxygen was a negative two. And that makes sense. Always go back to your periodic table just to make sure that your trend checks out. Let's do the same for sulfuric acid, right? I noticed that sulfate is in here and polyatomics never break up, right? So I have to keep my polyatomic. That's why you got to memorize your polyatomics. It just makes it so much easier. The polyatomics have to stay together. So let's see. I had two hydrogens, and how many polyatomic sulfates did I have? Not four. Four is part of the polyatomic. I really had one. Use those subscripts to crisscross back up. This two told me that sulfate was a negative two. This one tells me that hydrogen is a plus one. So I got H being a plus one and sulfate, which is a minus two. And that makes sense. Sulfate is always a negative two. H, being in group one, is a plus one. When you make your compounds, especially because this is just a, a fancy double displacement, remember that outers go with outers, inners go with inners. So strontium, two plus, is gonna hook up with the new negative, sulfate. Those are your outer guys, and this, O2 minus with H plus one are your inners, right? So in this case, let's see. This is going to hook up with this, and these guys are going to hook up. There you go. Outers with outers, inners with inners, if you think of this as like a box. Okay, let's do it now. It doesn't matter which one you say first. Let's just, you know, go with strontium first. I'm just going to say SR was a plus two coming in with sulfate being a two minus. Use those now charges to get your compound. So the two crisscrosses down telling me that I have two sulfates and this two crisscrosses down telling me that I have two strontiums. I don't know why this is such a mile away, but oh well, <laughs> you get, you get the picture, but I have two and two. Remember, with ionic compounds, you have to simplify, just like this was simplified. So I can divide both by two. 
to get one. And that's how many you have of each. So in this case, you just have SR, SO4. You have one strontium and you got one sulfate. Now let's go. <laughs> now let's go. <laughs> now let's go to the next compound that you make. Now don't be tempted. This oxygen was stated first technically if we go from left to right. But remember, pluses are always in the front of our compounds. So I'm just going to rearrange this. I'm going to say that it was H with the plus 1 coming in with an O2 minus. Let's see what we make. This one crisscrosses down, telling me that I had one oxygen. And this two crisscrosses down, telling me that I have two hydrogens. Ooh. I know what this is. This is H2O. There you go. I don't know why. That's a little small. Let's say H2O. Perfect. Almost there. Now we just have to make the states, right? We just have to say what the states were. Let's work with water first, right? Water, it's in liquid form. So L, right? Usually when we see water, it's in a liquid form. And now let's look at our strontium sulfate. Now, how am I going to know if this is a solid, liquid, gas, or aqueous? You look at your solubility chart. So get that out, right? Generally, sulfates, which is what we have here, we have a sulfate. Generally, sulfates are aqueous, so they're usually soluble, which means that they're aqueous, unless, so they have exceptions, unless they're bound with some ions. And the ions are Sr2+, Ba2+, so strontium, barium, we got lead going on here, Pb2+, and then Hg, mercury. Now all we have to do is just figure out, do we have an exception? Well, we have strontium, right? We have Sr2+. Sulfates are usually soluble unless they're bound with an exception. If they are bound with an exception, they are a solid. And since I have strontium, it is a solid. I hope, hope that makes sense. Okay. Now, they told us if water is used as a solvent, write the reactants and products as aqueous ions. I do have water, right? I do have water as a, as a liquid, so I just have to see if I have any aqueous materials here. But no, I don't. I have a solid, I have a liquid, I have another solid, and I have water. There's no aqueous guys here. So technically, I can't break anything down. Nothing was going to break down in uh, this reaction. This solid that we formed was called a precipitate. So in this case, I can't do anything more. But balance, right? We made an equation. We just have to make sure that it's balanced. I'm just going to do a quick look through, right? I usually like to start off with polyatomics. I have one sulfate, right? I got one sulfate, so that checks out. I got one strontium. I got one strontium, so that checks out. I got two hydrogens. I got two hydrogens. And then I have a lonely oxygen with a lonely oxygen. So it's all balanced. So in this case, I don't have to do anything, right? That's pretty nice. So this is the answer. Yeah. Go us. What'd you think, guys? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And... Yeah, just leave a comment saying hi. I love to talk to you guys. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Keep studying hard, all right? And I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Let's keep balancing. Ugh, let's keep balancing, right? I hope we're doing something new. But who knows? We'll see. I'll see you in five seconds. Bye-bye.